because it's not the way we would dance. On my own court, we will carry it inside the ground. When it is only an announcement, if you don't shout, we will carry your life because that energy. Friends, there's no way you would be in this 
world, especially in this Nigeria, that you have friends. You have one or two. So tell them about what God is doing. How your relations, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins. Tell them about what God is doing in local church. Hey, associate, that's your colleagues at work, your business partners, those, those that you deal with in business. Let them actually see you and read the Bible through you. Let them say that I have a business relationship with this person and indeed this person is actually being true to himself and they would actually follow you through the way you you behave yourself and is for neighbors people that you live that live around you tell them about christ preach the gospel to them tell them about the good news of what god is doing in local church and together we are tied with frangelism i pray that as you speak to them the lord they, the lord will make them to listen to you they will come and they will remain in the name of jesus while talking about evangelism Agape family! Agapians! Good! Now this Saturday we usually have evangelism every Saturday, the first, the second, third, fourth, and the last Saturday, whereby we rotate it amidst our family, our family unit. We have three family groups in Logan Church. We have the Dunamis family, the Agape family, and the Alleluia family. This is actually a way of the church trying to reach out to every member. It's more or less like a fellowship, like a cell unit. So it is the turn of Agape family to take evangelism, to take the word of Christ onto the street of Ogba. And I pray that as you go out this Saturday, the Lord will open their ears and their mind to hear you and they'll come with you and it will cause their feet to remain in the name of Jesus. The time is 8 a.m. Um, your family, they are going to be projecting it into your family WhatsApp so that you can keep it on your calendar. And I, I pray that as we do so, the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. If we have any further announcement, we hear before the end of the service. Glory to Jesus! <laughs> as good as dead, so many as the stars in the sky 
a multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore, innumerable. May the God of the Judicial Assembly accept this word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. Are we celebrating Jesus? I'm not going to force my around for four seconds. I'm going to force my blessed by that service. Praise the Lord. I remember before I go into what I have to do this morning, but I just remember what happened during the first service when Pastor was preaching. It got to a point that it hits me. I said, slamming my leg on the floor. Uh, one of the verses says that my faith is the evidence of things hoped for. And I began to see it, and it mentioned something like title deed. And I began to see it like evidence of things hoped for, like a receipt. When you go to a market or you go to a, a store to buy something, the evidence of what you have bought is a receipt. So therefore, faith is having a receipt of what you hope for. That is, you want a car, you don't have the car yet, but you believe you have it. You have the receipt already by the word of God. Then you start acting, you go somewhere, you get a car key order. Understand? You begin to get things, you can begin to buy car, you begin to buy this because you have the receipt of what you hope for. It has not gotten to you, but you have the receipt, and you are believing God, and all of a sudden, you will get your car. Now, there are some people here this morning that have walked with that word. Don't forget, the word of God is not a spoken word. The word of God is what you act on. It's an action word. When you see the Bible, you see acts. They, they call it the act of the old, the, the act of the apostle. That is led to the word, which was Jesus, that ascended. And they began to act on the word. And we saw what miracles and signs and all that. We have someone in the house this morning that acted on that word. And is here to testify. I want us to join our hearts. Let us welcome Brother Isaiah De Akilonu as he gives his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to celebrate the God of the Generation Assembly because God has been faithful to me. My life has been a roller coaster of drama, but God of the Generation Assembly came through for me. I remember in 2019 when I came in to look at church again. I came as someone that is expectant. Expectant because when my mates finished school, I couldn't finish, I couldn't conclude because I had issue with the school management and my result was withheld. But then I told Pastor about it, and if there is one thing that is so solid, it's the fact that he always pushed my feet and told me, Don't worry, God will come through. God started by even making ways for me without my certificate in Lagos. I mean, God surprised me beyond my expectation to the fact that even most of my mates don't even see the fact that so this guy has not gotten his results. And along the line, when the whole issue should have ended, I discovered that it wasn't ending and there is a whole lot of back and forth regarding my results. And then time I tell Pastor about that, sir, this thing, they are not seeing anything. They will just tell me, just calm down, it will come out. Just calm down, it will come out. Then at the point, my feet was shaking like, I don't know. This thing, I, they gave me two years and two years has passed. Because this year made it five years since I've been expecting. But Pastor will tell me, just calm down, look at it. God is doing wonders in your life even without your results. And I just held onto it. This uh, January, yes. I, I went to school again. Okay, December I went to school and the lecturer in charge told me, ah, guy, I am still working on it. This, uh, they are refusing to approve your result at the Senate level. Later I called him, he told me, guy, I've traveled out of the country, so your result is no longer in my hand. It is another lecturer in charge. I called the lecturer in charge and he told me, straight guy, you can't stress me because of your problem. Don't stress me at all. I went back to school, I was in front of his office, I called him, he said, guy, I don't have time for you, don't stress me. At that point, I was tired. I was tired because I feel like, God, this is beyond what I actually signed up for. But something happened in January. I, in my place of work, he just told me that, guy, we need extras for a movie, and we just need you people to come and act as cop members. I said, I'm not doing, I'm not interested. But when I got home, I didn't know that just say, can't you use this thing as a point of contact? Then I called the project manager, I said, I will follow you. Then I took a picture, media, I wanted to help you project that picture. I took a picture in faith. And when I was doing all these things, they don't understand. Those I said, tell some of them that you know that I'm not comfortable with my And they're like, ah, 
but this clothes looks good on you. I said, I don't know. But deep inside me, I see this picture on my phone, and I told God, I God Almighty, I use this as a point of contact. That this year, you should settle my case. But God of the and Assembly is full of surprises because when eventually I just I just called school again and they were like, ah, come, 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 come. I think he's out. I'm not sure. I went to school and they gave me my statement of resource period. They told me other processes to take to fast track my NYSC service. I did everything and got it. By the way, as though they were. I called it forth and God Almighty actually spoke on my behalf. Glory to Jesus. Praise God! After I see that faith is the receipt, I tell you the truth, our Father in God will be coming up after the final administration. I want our heart to be prepared because as he has testified, it will testify in Jesus' name. I tell you, testify in Jesus' name. Why don't you shout on hallelujah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Is that how you celebrate your God? Come on now. Come on now. Celebrate Jesus. Somebody shout glory. La mi la 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 de ti la. La mi la 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 de ti la. La mi la 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 de ti la. La mi la. Eh la mi la la. Eh la mi. I enter his gate with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. I enter his court with praise. Jesus has done great things in my life. That's why I give him all the glory. I enter his gate with thanksgiving. I enter his court with praise. Jesus has done great things in my life. That's why I've come to give him praise. La mi la 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 do ti la. La mi la 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 do ti. La mi la 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 do ti. La mi. La mi la mi la mi la mi la mi la mi la mi. La mi. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Hey, ashe bare o ashe bare. Afuri wa bale akawo wa soke. Ashebare o ashebare, ni rele o koni awawi. Kabi yesi o ashebare, kopato ju bongo wa balo. Please, how you go party your days? Ashebare, ashebare, afori bale akawo soke. Ashebare, ashebare, ni rele o koni. 
Jesus, cause me to ascend by the chariot, by the chariot of the Holy Spirit. Rams, 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 rams. Hey, cause me to ascend. Irritated, irrevesi yokoloma ufa. Oluwa jowo dami no kia kia ha ha kawa ye to bere wi pe ni bolo loru mi wa o e eri mi ani bu yo kayeri now this is my testimony now eri mi hey ti bu yo change for good. Your, your amen needs some massage. I say your name will change for good. Your amen, amen needs some oil. I say your name will change for good. Somebody say my name is changing for good. Thunder a brighter and louder. Amen. Are you blessed at all? LMT, God bless you. Please celebrate LMT, celebrate LMT. A new spirit, I don't even know what entered them. They have just entered a new realm. A realm where music, you see, I like when our core value is beginning to show in everything we do spirituality, morality, innovation, leadership, and evangelism. Smile is our core value. It is shown in everything that we are doing. That was creative. That was wonderful. That was, that was classic to the glory of Jesus Christ. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate. Come on, church. Celebrate Jesus. Yes. That's what I've been telling them. We have to take this LMT gospel to the street. We have to make people know that, you know, music, one of the things God has given to us as a church is music. God has given it to us as a, as a gift. I celebrate everyone. And church, I want to celebrate every one of you for the show of love and honor during um, the naming ceremony of my daughter. 
the way everyone turned up, the show of love, of love was massive. Please, let's celebrate Jesus. All local workers, I'll see you after the service. Those people in church and those that, you know, travel to one or two, I, I appreciate. I mean, for me to know that my input was not at the reception and it came out that beautifully classic. When I saw the bill of what was done, I said, wow. Beautiful, classic, innovative. I mean, it was just all that it is meant to be. And the way you have honored, I will pray. Please, I, don't, I must not forget because I really want to pray. Let me tell you something and I'll be repeating this again, again and again. Anytime there is something unique that is happening, try everything you can do to plant yourself into it. I tell you the truth. Plant. Ten years is not ten months. So the best you can do is to plant yourself into it by getting fully involved in it because there is a package for it. There is something God has told me. The honor was deep. The honor was real. I'm so glad today because why? It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what I'm passing through. Some of you don't know that some of these songs came as a result of some of the things I was passing through. When they mock me, the Lord will make me. For God's time is the best. He's never late. He's always on time. God's blessings will last. Ah, the pain will pass. My joy will overflow. My song will be. My song will be. My song will be. Yes, I'm more than conqueror. No more pains. No more pain. No more tears. Now I laugh and I dance. Hey. For God's time is the best. He's never late. He's always on time. Yes, Emmanuel. Yes, yes. God's blessings will last. The pain will pass. My joy will overflow. My joy will overflow. My joy will overflow. Oh, please sit up. My joy will overflow. My joy will overflow. My joy will overflow. I declare into someone that is shedding secret tears. Before the end of this month, your joy will overflow. I say your joy will overflow. Somebody turn down, my joy is overflowing. Yes. Church, because of our time of life, please get the sermon of the first service. This is our month. The theme of this month is church your faith. And that is why the caption of our three days fasting and prayer is stretch. Fast, pray, and press. Stretch, fast, pray, and press. So, it is time for us. So have you gotten that, sir? Stretch. We fast, we pray, and we press. And after you press, what is the next happen? You will testify. You will, when that three pattern is already in place, the next thing is to testify. I declare to someone's life this morning. Your testimony will be loud. Amen. I'm talking about the kind of testimony. You see, let me tell you a story that will touch you. I was alone in my sitting room a couple of years back. Light off. During the day, light off. I sat down there. I was just thinking. And I've seen God use me in the line of those trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb, not one, not two, not three. <sighs> Holy Spirit. And then the devil wanted to whisper some trash into my head. And where I sat down, that was when that song, that was what brought that song. I was, the song just dropped and tears was dropping from my eyes. Before the enemies ask, where is my God? Then the song stopped there. I said, this is a sad song. I said, this one is sad. I said, where is the testimony? 
I was already testifying before the testimony came. I got no tidia ye ye o ni. Oretara. Eh what? Can you see what happened on Thursday? Oretara. Friends and relations, they all came to celebrate with me. Why? Because Jesus has given me a new name. Can you see that? Let me tell you something. Songs are prophetic prophecies of faith. When you accept them into your spirit, yes, songs, they are prophetic prophecies of faith. When you take them into your spirit and you feed on them well, there is a shift that can happen in your life. A pastor, a pastor chatted me up from Benin and he said, Pastor Sam, when I saw that post, I was in awe. I have known you. There was no trace of that. I thought you were even married for just like two years plus. I thought you were in our class of those that just got married. And yet, I said, because you see, there must be something that is beyond challenges that must be driving your faith. If all that drives your faith is because of what you need, that faith is not a Bible-believing faith. Because Bible believing faith, the Bible says, who oh, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. He despised the shame. He endured the cross. We must come back to the seat of where patience and faith is what is needed before promises are inherited. Patience and faith. A lot of people have, by impatience, entered the wrong marriage. And they were, in fact, some people died in the process of trying to not show that, hey, how will people hear that I married the wrong person? But today, that song is a prophecy. I kept singing it. You see, I purposely did not post the date or the venue on social media. The people that we gather will not be able to feed all of them. I did it in-house because it is to the glory and praise of God. I can boldly say that this is Jesus' baby. Why? Because he is the one who did it. Now, when I now speak and I prophesy into your life, I'm coming from the point of conviction because I have passed through a process so that you might not pass through it. I say every form of delay in your life is terminated. I say every form of struggle in your life is terminated. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jude chapter 1 and verse 20. Because of our time. Friends and family celebrate with me. Jesus has given me a new name. Am I not a new name? Is my, have my name not changed? People like that. People like that. Pastor Colas, she's no longer boss mama. She's now Taylor's godmother. She has plenty of people around her. Adam was telling me, he said, no. She has landed. I've been waiting for you. You see, it pays to stay with God because at the end of the day, your life will become a testament of faith. Church, let's read together Jude one twenty because of our time. Want to go, but yeah. Come on together, but what? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Lily, no, 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 no. You read it that way. One, two, three, go. But what? Beloved, build up on your most praying in the I ascend, I ascend in the spirit, I ascend. As I sing in the spirit, I ascend, I ascend. Church, I want you to look at this. But ye, beloved, building up yourself. Who is to build it up? Come on, church. Who is to build it up? Who is to build it up? There is a role you must play in the build up of your faith. One of our fathers in the faith said, any faith that makes God absolutely responsible is an irresponsible faith. The faith that will make you sit down. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> the faith that will make you sit down and do nothing is an irresponsible faith. Oh, I love the testimony I just had. For a couple of years, I've been trusting the Lord. You see, now, people were shocked that he has not gone for service. And yet, he has earned what master's degree holders have not earned. 
on the platform of faith, he received what, he didn't just give the story, there were some mistakes he did. But the mercy of God still spoke for him. I first asked him, what did you do wrong? And he confessed. I said, good. Now we can talk to the Lord about mercy and then we stayed with God. He would have been out of school, he wrote an exam for his rent and he was caught. Then, see some of you that have done it before, you know yourself. Some of you that write exam for people. Now, can you see now? Why was he caught? Why was he suspended? He was to be rusticated. But suspension came. And after the two years, that was not done. Why? Because there are some examinations that you must only write yourself and pass for yourself. If another person writes it for you, it will be counterfeit and unknown. In fact, the person writing it for you can be penalized for writing it for you. Because there are some tests and trials that only you can pass. And until you are ready to pass through it yourself, you might not be ready to also carry the trophy yourself. Church, are you with me? And to the glory of God, now look at what he said. They called him to play an extra role in an era. And he dressed kitted up. And yet he has not served. That is faith. They receive the evidence. I know one day I will definitely serve. I mean, I've, yes, I am working, I am earning well, but I want to also serve and become a full graduate. And to the glory of God, the delay of several years, the Lord terminated. And by Wednesday, is going to come. Let's celebrate Jesus in his life. <laughs> tell your neighbors, stretch your faith. Come on, tell your neighbors, stretch your faith. Tell your neighbors again, stretch your faith. The faith that makes God absolutely responsible is an irresponsible faith. And the, and the Bible faith is a fighting faith. And only those who fight by faith shine as light. The Bible faith is a fighting faith. And only those who fight by faith shine as light. Listen, there are too many things around that is ready to kill your faith and slaughter your belief. Let me give an instance now. Look at what Pastor Kola said. That receipt. When the Lord gives you a word, it is a receipt of what he said he will do. And then it is for you to accept it and run by it. The gospel faith is a fighting faith. Believers are fighters. They are not weaklings. They are fighters that are ready to fight until they win. Because in the gospel faith, there is no defeat. There are only triumphant people. And for you to be triumphant, you must be ready. Say, build up yourself. Build up yourself. There are more people that come to church that are not building anything. I asked a question in the first service. I will ask the same. How many of you need a breakthrough here? Come on, church. You need a breakthrough. Good. How many of you want to travel around the world? Using Wayfair Travels. Hallelujah. That Wayfair can prepare your package for you. I will travel this year. Whether did that mean now? I will go and change my screen saver and put aeroplane there and put business. I will travel. Now, but do you know that? Okay, let me ask another question. How many of you are trusting the Lord that you buy your own car before the end of this year? People like things. So let's, I can see some of my daughters, their hands are higher, higher up. How many of you are trusting the Lord to get married this year? Come on, that's good. That's, uh -uh, I can see. A lady at the media raised her leg and her hand. Sincerely, she raised leg and hand. Like pastor, it's not just hand, it's with leg. I, my whole body is inside it. I must marry this year. Now, look at this simple stuff now. Now, the question is this. How many of you want to have, you are trusting God to have your car this year? Let me see yourself. By the grace of God. How many of you can drive? Now, can you see that now? Now, let me give you another illustration now. Do you know that most of the time we ask for stuff we are not even prepared for? And at the end of the day, even God is looking at us as people that are so irresponsible and unserious. Because there is no father, there is no responsible father that will give desires to a child that is not prepared. You must be ready and prepared before desires are granted. Please, I want you to really follow me. Your faith must be built up on convictions founded on the word. Now the question is this. How many of you have 12 scriptures that you read every day that has become part and parcel of your spirit that have to do with breakthrough? Test number one. You're asking God for breakthrough. 
you don't have at least 12 scriptures that every that the scriptures have so entered your spirit that if someone tells you you are a failure, you can slap the person. You are not slapping the person because you are not a failure. You are slapping the person because you are telling the person, can't you see me? I am bigger than what you think I am. Why? Your faith must be built on something that is not just confession, but on the foundation of the word of God. Can you see that now? You are part of the reason why your desires are not granted. What is the conviction based on the word? Give me 12 scriptures, okay? Seven scriptures that is powering your belief on breakthrough. That you can quote. When the devil comes, that can come out of your spirit. Did you observe that Jesus Christ, what happened? When he was tempted, the Bible says he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. But at the end of the day, his temptation was the temptation of scriptures. Did you hear what I just said? Fasting without the word is mere exercise in futility. It is hunger strike and medical therapy. And Jesus said, look at what the devil, the devil said you have been fasting. Mm, now your spirit man is energized. But I don't respect fasting, I respect the word. Tell your neighbor, stretch your faith. Tell your neighbor, stretch your faith. How we live fast for 40 days and yet the temptation was not on the fast but on the word. He said, if you are the son of God, if you are the son of God, the same thing that the devil did to Adam and Eve at the, at the beginning to Eve, he said, did God say, but there was no conviction, and her husband who had the conviction has not imputed it into her. Because at the end of the day, it is your conviction that determines and propels your action. Before you act, you are convinced. Every love is based on conviction. There is no guy that would date a lady or love a lady if you are not convinced that you know this person is responsible. There is hey, ladies here. How many of you agree with me that sometimes you have one leg in one leg out? This one is my is my shoe boyfriend. You see, they are laughing. If they know themselves, you can see them. They will save it as shoe boyfriend because they're like this one is just Lord, give me my husband. This one is a boyfriend. Why? Because they understand in their heart of heart that there is no conviction that this one is responsible. So why they are praying for him to change? They are trusting God for something better. Because every true action is founded on conviction. And our conviction must be rooted in the word of God. That is why you cannot truly want a breakthrough if you don't know the scriptures that backs up breakthrough. Do you know that there are business tycoons in the Bible? How many of you want to be multi-millionaires and billionaires for the kingdom? Now, tell me one character in the Bible you have studied that was that had transgenerational wealth. Just one. That you have studied in total. That had transgenerational wealth. And you have studied the principles he or she applied. You see, some people are trying to think. Mm, it shows that you are not yet building yourself. Jude 120, building up yourself. In your most holy faith. That testimony is a testimony of faith built up. Lord, I know you have done it. Let me wear the let me wear NYSC. Lord, I know that you have done it. I was talking to some of my son. One of the person is the person play keyboard. Like, will you drive a car? Yes. Can you? He doesn't even know where ignition is. Cannot even start car. Talk more or less of putting it in gear. Praise the Lord. You cannot start cutting more less of. He was, I told him, he said, Sir, your double pointer is on. He, asked, he was asking me, Please, why will you put off double pointer? Because, glory to Jesus. He said, Please, sir, where is the double pointer? Because if you have been driving, you don't need to ask. Any car you enter, am I correct? You will know how to chase double. He said, Please, I have to tell him, you see, when you open the car, you will see by the dashboard, go to the right. By the right, you see a red button. Press the red button. Because of, and now you want to drive, you don't know double pointer. The car cannot come. Because faith is, is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. You will eat faith to a point that people will think that you are a mad person. That's why the likes of our fathers in the faith, he read the book of Kenneth Copeland. He read it to a point that... Hallelujah. He read it to a point that, at a point, he told himself. That's why someone, let me tell you something. Go to your room and spin. You will still be poor. 
Bishop Oedipo goes spin. Bishop Oedipo said, and after I read, I read. He read it cover to cover. The first time, he didn't catch anything. Second time, he didn't catch anything. He read it again. Third time, he didn't catch anything. He read it. At the fourth, fifth time, he, ah, same book. Because it takes meditation to draw Rema. Meditation is needed before Rema is bettered. That's what the Bible says in Joshua chapter 1 of verse 8. What does it say? It says, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of my mouth. Well, am I correct? But thou shalt meditate on it, what? That means the only way it cannot depart from your mouth is by meditation. Meditation is regurg regurg to regurgitate. Don't worry, I'm still going to teach that principle of Hagar, the principle of meditation. To regurgitate is meditation. And you do not regurgitate what you have not pondered upon. That is why when you ponder upon something well, it eats you up. Have you observed? Depression comes from the platform of pondering. You ponder on a problem. Am I correct, church? Depressed people, you sit on air. Eh? Why is their life like this? Because it's not my own life. Like, I don't know if it's sudden you are moody. John, what do they do? What do they do? Hey, you are just crying. Who is, who is fighting you that you are crying with everybody? Why? You have meditated on the wrong thing. And then that wrong thing becomes a conviction of your belief. And the, the result of that conviction is depression. Because what you have, it is what enters into your spirit that determines the reaction of your body. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written there. For then thou shalt make. There is the aspect of the word. There is an aspect of meditation. There is an aspect of confession. That's when God cannot do what he wants to do. So I ask again, can you now see that you are part of the reason why that breakthrough has not come? You should have it on your phone every morning. Print it out and put it in a place you can see. You just need breakthrough. Have scriptures on breakthrough. Eat it to a point. Bishop Edebo ate it and he said, and I spin and I jump. I cannot be poor. If you go to your room and spin, you will jump. You will be poor. Practical belief. You will spin again. You might even fall and break your leg and borrow money to go and cheat it. Because the person who spinned is spinned on the altar of revelation. It was what he saw that made him spin. He was still driving a Volkswagen and he called his people together. He called his pastors together. He said, listen to me. Listen to me. We are all on the same level now. You can see, we are all on the same level now. But the time has come that some of us will begin to fly and you'll be asking, how are we flying? But I'm telling you that I'm flying by the principle of the revelation I've received. And then he was driving a beetle. And with a beetle under it, under a touch building, a building that was made with um, palm, palm front, he will declare, this ministry is the richest in the world. And people will be looking at him. Are you stupid? Are you foolish? Because faith is the substance of things hoped for. Until people start saying you are a foolish person based on faith, you are not actually walking by faith. The true evidence of that you are walking by faith is for people to say you are foolish. That means you are beginning to take steps that is beyond reasoning. You are beginning to take steps that is beyond reasoning. There are some of you, you are meant to have launched your company. You are telling yourself, you check that bank account. <clears throat> you carry calculator. You place it by your side. You carry and then you look at it. I am earning 100,000 in a month. Inflation has affected this money by 60%. So my real salary is 40,000 naira. Lord, you are telling me to start a company with 40,000. You are not a serious God. Now, can you see? Because what? You have allowed reasoning to overshadow faith. When it comes to faith, reasoning is suspended. Until your reasoning is suspended, you cannot actually walk by faith. Because the truth is that when it comes to faith, it is always never enough. You can never take step of faith when it is enough. If when you are taking step when it is enough, it is no longer faith. It is based on facts that you can actually touch. Check everybody that genuinely did massive stride. It was never enough. Yet they took steps. How will you walk on water? Faith simply means walking on water. I don't know if I will sink, but nevertheless, I will take this step. 
That's why I said one time, it is risky not to take risk. It is risky not to take risk. Did you hear what I just said? It is risky not to, that means it is risky to remain on the same spot. It is risky not to take risk because a life of faith is a life of risk. And only those who take risk actually fly as light. Give me your son, your only begotten son. Does it make sense? Come on church, does it make sense? I want to provoke you today to understand that there is something inside you that is bigger than you. It is time to live and walk by faith. Building up yourself in your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Building up yourself what? In your most what? Holy faith. Doing what? Praying in what? In the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Stretch. Come on now. Come on now. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Stretch. Those of you that want to get married, have you gotten scriptures that have to do with godly homes? And are you already taking steps to tell yourself, wait, let me start trying to get that shoe that will make it a reality. You must act in the reality of what you believe. Let me tell you something I said in the first service. Before God did this powerful testimony for us, we went for a very advanced test when it was like what was going on. Very advanced. In fact, in this country, you know, Lagos is like a hub of medicine. You know, Lagos, Abuja, you get what I'm trying to say? You get almost of the good doctors. Now, in Lagos State, there are only three hospitals, three or four hospitals that have that very equipment of that kind of test in the whole of Lagos. So you understand what it was like to even gather resources for that kind of a test. But when we did the test, the result that came out was not good. And then the person who did the test, he said, mm, the thing is that, the thing is that, well, based on this test and everything like that, you know, it tells that you need to stay in the hospital for a whole day. It's like you're admitted for a day because of what needs to be done. Then after everything was done, mm, the, what we can see, you know, he didn't know how to say the doctor. He was like, the actual positioning of the womb of your wife is like upside down. That so, the real entrance that will bring about fertility, yes, formation of a child, that entrance is not something that can be easily traced or located. But with God, all things are possible. What will you do at that point? Most men will tell the woman, pack your load and leave my house. Because in this generation, we are, we, there is a generation of men that are becoming babies. They are forgotten that what makes a man is your ability to stand. There are more baby men than actual men. In fact, women are taking more role as men. And the men are not just becoming women, but they are becoming babies. Ability for us to stand. And I looked at that result. I said, Lord. Humanly speaking, I must tell you people the truth, church. I'm a human being. I said, Jesus Christ. Everything started running in my head. I said, Lord, I have stood on the reality of your word that says that what? A man shall leave his father and he will cleave to his wife. I have stood on your reality of your word that I will not give up or give in because through faith and patience, promises are inherited. But to the glory of God, despite the doctor's report, God brought a prophetess that landed according to his will. Why? Because with God, all things are possible. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Tell your neighbors, church. Tell your neighbor again, church. The substance of things hoped for. Ah! Pastor Kola, we need to return back to those days of rugged faith. The faith that were not normal. While I was still serving, I served in an ethnic church. In that church, men sit one side. Women, have you seen those kind of our parents' parent churches? You know, when men are one side and women are one side and everything from beginning to the end is either in a particular language. If it is in Igbo, it's in Igbo. If it is in Yoruba, it's in Yoruba. And then I was the only graduate that was there. And that was where God sent me to serve. 
And when I entered into that place, I told myself there must be a transformation. But this is why I'm going to the first magazine that was ever done. Because nobody has taken any step that have to do with 50,000. A project, Sam, I saying the truth, sir. That time, you want to do a project of 100,000. Who will, who, how? You shout and shout. There's nobody that, and then it's a, it's a, you know, we from the youth platform trying to talk to the, I said, Father. And I remember that I came and I told my team, you are dear man, you are the secretary. My secretary that time. I said, we are going to do a magazine. The magazine is going to be a classy one. This and this and that. Your generation is mentally and psychologically lazy. I'm sorry to tell you that. I tell you the truth. There are few people that are daring something bigger than them. I and Pastor Kola will go to Pangroof. We went to Pangroof to do analysis of something that the money was not available. And a pastor in the church met me and sat me down to school me. Like the economy will school you that drop that thing that you call faith. Don't for, forget all this fanatism. Christianity is a fanatic. You have to forget all these things. You better give yourself sense and give yourself brain. If I give myself sense and give myself brain, I and my wife will not become parents today. Because the next thing we should be considering is adoption. Even where I serve at a point, the pastor needed to look for how to let me go because it, it was like this thing is a thing of shame. Because later on I was, yes, I'm telling you true life stories. Because I remember when one was released, I served to the glory of God, we served properly well. But at the end of the day, there are some faiths that nobody can pass for you. But to the glory of God today is a testimony not evident for all to see. Is a testimony not evident for all to see. You must wake up and know what you are doing. If not, so I can tell you, time will burn up. Year will burn up and there will not be anything to show for your conviction in God. I went on the altar. I can still recall. And I announced. I said, praise the Lord. You know, I told the pastor, I said, please, sir, just give me privilege to announce what I'm going to do. He looked at me, Sam. You want to do this thing? I said, yes, sir. And then one of the leading pastors in the church called me and sat me down. He said, let me tell you something. Don't stress yourself. We have tried something like this. It never worked. Don't embarrass yourself by coming to the church to announce. But you see, there was something driving me. The question is, what is driving you? Is it social media? They put somebody in the jail for six months. Is that your business? You know what food they are putting inside jail for six months. You can read it for five hours. You cannot sit with your Bible. You see, they are talking about it. They know it. They know the person that went to jail for six months. They are saying, you see, but now, tell me where faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God is in your Bible. Where is it located in the Bible? Some people never tell them open Habakkuk. They don't know if Habakkuk is in the Old Testament or New Testament. If it is in the middle, Malachi, some people will go to Jeremiah. Because at the end of the day, you are not yet even, you are not even friend with the scripture. Even the one on your phone, the one on your phone, the you, uh, you version, they will have to go and be looking for it. Habakkuk, they will be using, looking, looking for it according to alph alphabet. They don't know that, okay, what is after Habakkuk? What is before? Because at the end of the day, the word you don't read, how can you actually be friend with it? It is what you're actually a friend with that you'll be able to know the direction to. That's why this morning, my assignment is this, but below, do what? Build up your, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, build up your feet. Stretch. Say it again, stretch. Come on, say it again, stretch. Say it, I mean it, stretch. There's an assignment for every one of you between now and next week, Sunday. Get 12 scriptures that have to do with the challenge that you want to become manifestation. 12. And between now and next week, those 12 scriptures will become part and parcel of you. You want breakthrough, get it. You want healing, get it. Google has made it simple. 
But you will not Google scripture. You will Google news. You will Google, you will Google new dance. Like the one they are doing like, do like this. Do like this. What did I call the dance? Okay, now we shake it out there. I just look at that. Then we go like that. You see that? They know this. Yet they know it. They know it. They know it. Tell me what spiritual song they have received in their dream. Even when they are dreaming, they'll be doing hini, hini, hini. Is that what will give you your testimony? Come on, celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not saying it's bad. Are you getting what I'm doing? I'm not saying it is wrong to know what is trending. But you see, trends cannot make your life trend. Your life will never trend based on trend. It will trend based on your revelation of scriptures. Get me that scripture. He said, faith cometh by what? Hearing. And what? Hearing by the word of? The lady that wants to get married. Why are you looking moody and looking like my mother? You are looking like my mother. You are trusting God for marriage. I cannot toast my mother even in my dream. I will say blood of God. I love my mother. But if I'm praying to God, as a, you no, know, maybe you are single, you, oh God, why have I sinned? Or maybe you can just say, maybe God wants to give me a wife like my mother. Or you, you are trusting God, you are looking, you will now do, hey, that does not make sense. And then you will now be telling the Lord, Ranu Kapata. After Ranu Kapata, at the end of the day, is it Kapata that will bring the person? Faith is an action word, is a doing word. That's when you will dress and look good. And in your dressing looking good, you don't look like a call girl. You want to get married, they're looking like somebody that will say, come here. Because it is how you look that determines the approach you get. You look queenly. You look sharp. You carry your steps like a queen. That even when they call you, you will say, excuse me. Guys that are here, how many of you agree with me? You know when you meet a girlfriend and when you meet a wife. Guys, am I saying the truth? Can you see the guys? Can you see the guys? And yet, they will tell you, baby, anytime I see you, the love I have for you, na lie, na lie. Na lie. Na lie. They know. Can you see him now? Look at this, my son. He's all shaking his head. This one. Michael, he's all shaking his head. I know. I know. When they meet somebody that will become a wife, they know. Character will show. Everything will show. Packaging will show. But you are dressing like somebody that is not godly. And you are telling the Lord, bless me with a husband. You can't get a husband. You will get a man bitter. Person that will use you and dump you is what you will get because faith is a compendium of belief, it is a belief spiritually in scriptures that is demonstrated in your actual physical actions. That means you act based on the context of your faith. Faith comes by hearing, and what hearing can you see? It's not one hearing, there is another hearing. The first hearing is information, the second hearing is revelation. Until, your, until the information of the word turns to a revelation in your spirit, faith is not yet born. It is revelation that brings about the transformation that you need. The Bible is a historic book. It takes revelation for it to become a spiritual book. The Bible is a historic book. It takes revelation for it to become a spiritual book. That is why there are professors that understand the Bible that are not born again. They can write theses on the Bible, but they have not had encounter with the Jesus of the Bible. It takes revelation to assess faith. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing. How many of you have sat with the word from this altar again and again? That until I get this realm, I will not stop. You tell you, you plug it in your ears. The way you plug you, the songs you, you hear. Any hours of the day you are listening to the scriptures. I was talking to my dear brother, my covenant brother, my associate pastor, and a dear son. I don't know how he combines those three titles. Celebrate him, celebrate him. Now, one day, I mean, you should have people like that. By the grace of God, all they are seeing is still child's place, still primary school level. But yet, they are not stopping. 
and he called me one day. He said, Pastor Sam, we're talking. He said, Pastor Sam, I said, what happened? He said, I, 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 caught, I caught a rema. How many friends have you called that caught a rema in the Bible? The only thing your friends are catching. Ah! Did you see the person that sank when they wanted to cross the water? It is where well, low. People are just dying in this country. That's not the kind of news you have. Those are the kind of news. And what was the rema? The rema touched me. And he said, he said, sir, can you see this verse of the scripture? It's a common one. What happened? It was common. But the information became revelation. And even when he would share with his pastor, I said, Kai, deep. The woman, the Shunammite woman, you know, and the prophet went to her and he said to her, what did he say? He said, get me something to, no, not that one. The one that the, um, the husband, the prophet died and then she had nothing. She went to Elisha and she said, ah, they have come to carry my children for, um, to take them in for slavery. And then Elisha asked her, what do you have? He said, see, all I have is this tiny oil and this small stuff. And then look at what the prophet said. He said, go to your neighbors. Go to your neighbors. He said, gather vessels and do not gather a few. Media should have put that scripture up. Gather vessel and do not gather a few. He said, because this cruise of oil will not run dry. But look at what he, look at the revelation our pastor caught. I'm sharing it with the church now. He said, sir, she obeyed the word, yes. But the question is this. For her to gather vessel, she had good relationship with people. So she went out. She could talk to her neighbors. Because it's a person that have good relationship that they will give vessels to. The vessels are not her own. So at the end of the day, the prophecy was, was already established. But she needed the help of men before it can be achieved. So your relationship with people and how you actually do to people will determine if the oil will keep flowing or not. So the flow of the oil in your life, can you now see that revelation came from the altar of meditation? And I said, hmm. And he said, Pastor Sam, we have been in-house too much. It is time for us to start building alliances. Some of you, you, you don't even know the person sitting. You are in a family, you are not active. There are people inside this church. I only just spoke to them. How are you doing? How is everything? Oh, I'm fine. Everything is this. Oh, I'm good. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I am. What do you need? Ah, phone just said I, I, I was so touched. Oh, a job. Pastor Kola, please, let's see what we can do. And the person got a job in 10 days. And then Pastor Kola was telling me, he said, sir, this looks somehow, there are people in the family system that have been there for several months that this job would have gone to. This person is less than two months in the church. The difference is that you can be in a family and not be active. If you are not active, how can somebody even think something towards you? Because at the end of the day, gather not a few requires people and relationship. You can never thrive alone. With anointing and with grace, the business you are doing, you need people. And it is your relationship with people that determines. That is why some of you that just burn bridges, well done. A time will come, you will need the bridge and you will stand by the ocean about to sink. But that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Yeah. Stretch. Yeah. Rise on your feet as we close. Are you blessed at all this morning? It's 12 o'clock, we'll have three more minutes and then we close. Are you blessed at all this morning? Are you blessed at all? How many people are ready to stretch? Can you see that we're entering the period of stretching by faith? We stretch, we pray, we fast, we pray, and we press. I want us to pray this prayer. Some of you, you need to start giving your offering in dollars. Start with one dollar. You are telling yourself that, Lord, I am stretching that the time is coming. How much is one dollar now? It's one thousand naira. Some of you, your offerings is way more than that. That's what they call faith. I will start with one dollar. I will start with whatever I sent. I will start with $10. What you are just doing, you are stretching. And the story I was, give, I was saying, do you know that we were able to achieve that magazine? I announced to the church, and at the point of when disappointment wanted to come, I said, I don't know where this money will come. One man that has been inside the church for several years, he just called me. He said, Sam, then I was evangelist. Sam, evangelist, Sam, I, I like I like your push. I like what you're doing. You know what? I, I want to sponsor that magazine. And he single-handedly dropped about 
of the bill that was needed. We, sir, because the way they are looking at me, sir, maybe we'll get that magazine and bring one of these days. You will see it yourself. And we were able to, we got it done. And everybody started looking at how, will, how can this be? Because we said, pray with me and say this. Say with me in the name of Jesus. Every power struggling with my faith, I break it now. I receive the conviction based on the word of God to stretch, to stretch until my promises, my promises in the scriptures manifest in my life, in my life, in my life. Say with me again in the name of Jesus. From today, I stretch my faith. I stretch my faith into higher realms. I enter. I stretch my faith for my breakthrough. I stretch my faith for my health. I stretch my faith for my marriage, my life, and my marriage, and my possessions, and my glory shall not be for the oppression of the devil. I am more than a conqueror. Somebody turn that fire. And the centurion said, speak the word only. How many centurions are here that are just saying, Pastor, just speak that word to me this morning. The centurion told Jesus, you don't need to enter my house. When you speak your word, your word is you. If you believe I am called by God, there is a spirit that quickeneth. You see, the flesh profited not in the Bible says, but the spirit quickeneth. The word that I speak unto you, the scripture says, they are spirit and they are life. Lift up your right hand wherever you want, under the sound of my voice. If there are people that accept and believe, I declare to someone's life, before the end of this month, you will testify. I'm talking about a testimony that only mercy can give. You are standing in a gap for somebody. You are standing in a gap for yourself. I declare by the same God who made me testify. And the Lord said to me, there is a grace release. Years will be compressed into months. And years will be compressed into days. Based on the belief of the people. Maybe your own belief is that, Lord, before the end of this month, some of you might be within the next one month. But I declare to your life, over that present situation, you will testify. Like Jesus told the centurion, your faith has made you whole. I declare this very morning that from this very same hour, that situation has turned into a testimony. For those of you that are under the sound of my voice, that you are experiencing any form of delay, I declare right now they are shattered in the name of Jesus. If God is the one who made me laugh, the Lord made me laugh. The Lord made me laugh. If it's the word that has given me the strength to stay, now he's sending me as a weapon, as an arrow shot to see to it that people begin to laugh and delays terminated. I speak financial delays terminated. Marital delays terminated. In the name of Jesus, as we enter into a new week, celebration everywhere. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I want you to do something. You just walk to five people and just say, look at me well, oh, celebration galore. Look at me well, oh. Look at me well, oh. Look at me well, oh. Celebration, celebration, galore, celebration, hallelujah. Can we package our offerings? Can we package our offerings, our seed? Please, there are some people that have been saying, oh, pastor, we want to sow something. Don't give, a, don't give the seed of the pastor and put it, the church account is not pastor's account. Pastor has his own account. Church is church. Amen. So, so like someone sent something that was like, for the work of God. For the work of God is not for pastor. So if you send something to me, put work of God. You are telling pastor, send it to the church. Pastor, we are giving you a seed. That is a different one. And then glory to the Lord, we are giving to the Lord. Some of you, 
Hype up your faith. That's why we have Naira account. We have dollar account. We have. Father, we thank you because our faith is stretched. How many people believe in the impossible now? How many people will get that 12 scripture that is needed for their glory? I pray for you today, your life will not remain the same. As you are giving committedly so, you are a tighter. You are tightening. The Bible says that when you pay your tithe or when you give your tithe, that you will call the heavens to open. That's what the scripture says and that's what we believe. He said, honor the Lord with your substance. We honor you, Lord, with our substance. Bless us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not doing it for any man to see, but we are doing it for you to see. And you that see in the secret, bless us in the open. Thank you, mighty Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please, let's celebrate the Lord. I don't want to exceed 10 minutes in any of the services again. And then we are good to go. Second service is closing. Let's celebrate the Lord. Ebenezer, my help has come. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. Da, da, da.